Class 11 Accountancy Numerical Problem Solutions Presented by Edixir.com In this video, we are going to provide Bank Reconciliation Statement Unfavorable Balance Cash Book Solutions Problem 12 Solution The problem statement is as follows. Kumar find that the bank balance shown by the cash book on December 31st, 2000 plus is 90,600 rupees credit balance. But the passbook shows a difference due to the following reason. A check post dated for 1000 rupees has been debited in the bank column of the cash book but not presented for payment. Also, a check for 8000 rupees drawn in favor of Manohar has not yet been presented for payment. Checks totaling 1500 rupees deposited in the bank have not yet been collected. And check for 5000 rupees has been dishonored. Before we proceed with the analysis of these particulars, let us first recap about why there is a need for reconciliation. By preparing the bank reconciliation statement, we get an idea about why there is a difference between the cash book and the passbook balances. This difference could be due to timing difference on recording the transaction, errors made by the business or the bank. Few reasons of the timing difference are checks issued by the business but not yet presented for the payment. When the business issues a check to the supplier or creditors, they are immediately entered on the credit side of the cash book. The supplier or creditor has to encash this check by presenting it in the bank. In some cases, the creditor or supplier may not present this check immediately in the bank. So, when the bank statement is received by the firm, as this check is not yet presented by the creditor or supplier, this will not be there in the bank statement. This is one reason. The next reason is, checks paid into the bank but not yet collected. When the business receives checks from its customers or debtors, they are immediately recorded in the debit side of the cash book. So, the cash book shows more amount to be available in the bank. These checks could be from a bank which is not in the same city or town. Sometimes, the business might have an account in one branch and the check could be from a different branch altogether. In such cases, the bank may not have collected this check amount by the time the bank statement is received by the firm. So, there will be difference in the cash book and the bank passbook. This is one more reason. The next reason is, checks deposited are dishonored. When the check is received by the business, it deposits this check in the bank and debits this check amount in the bank column of the cash book. In some cases, this check will be dishonored and the amount is debited in the bank passbook. Due to the timing difference, the business does not know about the check being dishonored. So, there will be no entry for the dishonored check. In other words, as per the cash book, check is successfully encashed and as per the passbook, the check is dishonored. The firm will know about this only after the bank statement is received. As a result, the balance as per the passbook and the balance as per the cash book will be different. There are other reasons also. But to limit the scope of these differences to this problem, let us consider only these three reasons for timing difference. Now coming to the errors made by the business or the bank, errors committed in recording transaction by the firm. One of the errors could be due to the omission or wrong recording of transactions relating to checks issued, checks deposited and wrong totaling etc. committed by the firm while recording the entries in the cash book. This will cause a difference between the cash book and the passbook balances. Now, with this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of these details in the problem. Here it is given that the credit balance as per the cash book is 90,600 rupees. As you know, the credit balance in the business cash book is called as overdraft. Also, when there is an overdraft, we will call it unfavorable balance of cash book. So, in this problem, the credit or overdraft balance as per the cash book is given and we need to find the balance in the bank passbook. Let us first enter these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the title as bank reconciliation statement as of December 31st, 2000 plus. 
Let us have the individual columns for serial number, particulars, amount that should be added, and the amount that should be deducted. Let us first write the particulars as overdraft as per cash book. As this is credit or unfavorable balance in the cash book, we need to write this amount of 90,600 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. In this case, a post dated check for 1000 rupees is recorded in the bank column of the cash book, but it was not presented for payment. While solving the problems on bank column cash book, we learned that when the check is received and it is deposited in the bank on the same day, we consider it as check and so we record it in the bank column of the cash book. Otherwise, we consider it as cash and record it in the cash column of the cash book. Here it is given that the check is recorded in the bank column of the cash book. So it is supposed to be deposited into the bank on the same day. But it is given that it is not deposited in the bank on the same day. So this is an error from the business side. Now as per the problem, the check is debited in the cash book. But as it is not deposited into the bank, it will not be there in the passbook by the time the bank statement is received by the firm. So there will be difference in the business cash book and the bank passbook. So we need to deduct this check amount from the cash book balance to get the passbook balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particular says post dated check received but not yet presented for payment. Let us write this amount of 1000 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that the business has issued a check to Manohar but the check was not yet presented for payment. When the business is issuing a check to someone, it will be created in the cash book. However, as this check is not yet presented for payment, there won't be any corresponding entry in the debit side of the passbook. So obviously, there will be difference in the business cash book and the bank passbook. So we need to add this amount to the cash book balance to get the passbook balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as check issued but not yet presented for payment. Let us now write this amount of 8000 rupees in the plus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is given that Checks totaling 1500 rupees were deposited into the bank, but they were not yet collected by the bank. When the business receives these checks, they will be debited in the bank column of the cash book. And then they will be deposited in the bank. However, as these checks are not yet collected by the bank by the time the bank statement is received by the firm, there won't be any corresponding credit entries in the passbook. So obviously there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balance. So we need to deduct this amount from the cash book balance to get the passbook balance. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as checks deposited but not yet created by the bank into the account. Let us now write this amount of 1500 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us now take up the next details. Here it is specified that a check for 5000 rupees is deposited into the bank, but it was dishonored. When the business receives the checks, it will debit the cash book and then these checks will be deposited into the bank. However, this check is dishonored or bounced, but the business does not know about this until the bank statement is received. So there won't be any corresponding additional entries in the cash book regarding the dishonored check. However, as this check is dishonored, the bank does not make any entries in the passbook. If the entry is already made, it will be reverted back. So obviously there will be difference between the business cash book balance and the bank passbook balance. So we need to deduct this amount from the cash book balance to get the passbook balance. 
With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the particulars as check dishonored. Let us now write this amount of 5000 rupees in the minus amount column. That completes the recording of these details into the bank reconciliation statement. In fact, we have completed the recording of all the details into the bank reconciliation statement. The next step is to find the balance as per the passbook. Now, the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 8000 rupees. And the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 98,100 rupees. From 98,100 rupees, if you subtract 8,000 rupees, we get 90,100 rupees. This is the passbook balance, and now let's record this. Let's first write the particulars as overdraft as per passbook. As we have started with the cash book overdraft balance, we need to write the passbook overdraft balance of 90,100 rupees in the plus amount column. Now, the total of all the entries in the plus amount column is 98,100 rupees. Similarly, the total of all the entries in the minus amount column is 98,100 rupees. With that, we have come to the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. Edixit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.